Hello everybody, this is Simon with the 6th episode of Let's Play Mega Man 6. Should come as little surprise that Beat's next part, the E, is right under the Japanese fella at the left. A and T follows suit and funnily enough, that's also weakness order. Someone put thought into this lineup and I appreciate that. Let's get to it then. And let it be said right now, this guy might not actually have a fortress that's impregnable, but he's got my favorite music in the game. I used to choke that it's the only excuse M6 has for existing. Anyway, let's start it off with an unthreatening enemy again, or well, whatever, it's a nice introduction and I uh, mean you have to know that standing up here is perfectly safe. Blizzard attack sucks. Just look at how much weapon energy it costs me to use it. And again on a pointless enemy, I'm kind of glad that this guy doesn't move, but seriously, you kind of really have to hit two enemies at once with the blizzard things and even then it's just not really powerful. There are a few enemies that are weak to it, but bleh. Tomahawk's weapon is surprisingly effective though, but uh, I hope that was to be expected because Yamato uh, is weak to it after all. And you might, I mean designing the stages around the weakness is kind of a thing. Also designing the stages around the weapons that are obtained in the stages is in Mega Man 6, but oh, whatever. This room here is kind of tricky, but we've got a shield with us. Sometimes I really, really like having a shield, you know? It's just this one room and we're already out. Blackberry is so bad. It's useful for what it is, a shield, at points, like here. But seriously, why the fuck does it cost so much? Don't get it. Anyway, this room here is completely and utterly pointless, but we're going to meet an old friend very soon, once I find out where the right weapon is. Thanks. So, hey! I know you from Mega Man 5, you're a pain in the ass because I could only hit you in the eye, but you had a laser back then. A slight modification. Now that I can hit you on the feet too, bugger off. It's kind of strange to this guy because this is the only room in the whole game he appears in. It's a point. Also this room here. I call it the useless room. We're going to see it again. Because this is where the paths, the paths rejoin. Might have noticed the crack block at the start. Continuing on with my love letter to Windstorm. Not the past but And the pointless cannon. And pointless spikes. Seriously, why are those spikes on the left? Do they think I'm going to fall into there? Why? How would I? I don't get it. Really, I don't get it sometimes. This game. And this reminds me of them. something. Yep. Did we really need to see the fish again? Fuck that. Fuck it. And this time it's even... Oh, you can't see it coming. They will hit you. If you don't know it. So let's give Blizzard Attack another chance. And... No, it's really, really impossible to hit with this thing in a way that you want to. I mean, it was kind of lucky that the enemies were placed like that, but yeah. So this time here, this guy would actually take two shots, but the way I set it up... Uh, you see, it's just so awkward to, to use. I don't know. This might be a problem with the timing, but yeah. Plant barrier. Shield. Yeah, I said I like shield weapons. And that was the stage. I'll take out this guy. Can you tell me what theme the stage had? No? Me neither. We had a few moving platforms and then platforms with some dragonflies over it and I guess there was a little part with water in it and and a walker and, and cannons and yeah. You know that is my biggest problem probably with the Mega Man 6 stages, they lack focus. It's just huh? Don't get it. Anyway, boss time. Psych! Going to see the boss at the end of the video. I got the weapon though. And we're going to have to revisit this stage anyway. So, a little preview of what Yamato Spear does and we're going to see it in action pretty soon, uh, right now. Oh hey, well, that's a far more pleasant color, don't you think? Anyway, the first split is right at the start, so just a, a quick rundown of Yamato Spear. It fires forward. That's all you need to know. Yeah, it's kind of a pointless weapon, really. I mean, uh, it's kind of like needle cannon, but have you seen how much weapon energy I've already expended? Uh-huh. I mean, having the energy balance is nice and all, but that doesn't mean that the weapons have to cost that much Capcom seriously. I cannot use half of those things because they run out so quickly. Yeah, back to punching things. Whee! And another pointless room. Oh. 
In, uh, just takes time to traverse those and there is nothing to it. I don't get it. This mini boss too is a giant robot frog, which is kind of cool. He's also got a ninja, which is also pretty cool. And I somehow forgot to jump or something, which is not cool, but yeah, that's about everything he does. Laser, bombs, both of which are stupidly easy to avoid. A whole sprite for this guy and such a waste of a fight. It's kind of sad, really. We get a reward, a knee tank, but uh, laziness. And back to the pointless room, so let's skip a few rooms and the chat part. This is the real path split for the true boss. Hey, you're pretty damn pointless too. Would be pretty tough to time this, but you can only get here with the jet. What do they expect me to do, really, huh? This guy is colossal in the way, and there really aren't any great options to deal with him. Believe me, I've tried Silver Tomahawk. It doesn't hit him at all from the ladder. So you kind of have to go up and down. It's pretty damn awkward, and no, you're not safe like that. Oh, just a bit time-consuming. But let's just show a failed attempt, and what happens when you cannot jump out of a slide? Something like that. Thankfully it's not a bottomless pit, but um, yeah, I have to redo the level anyway. So, back to our regular scheduled program. Fuck, this guy jumps at me and Blizzard attack is fucking worthless. God damn it. I mean, there are a few spots you can theoretically use it, I guess, but yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Not, not my cup of tea. Those springy guys are actually kind of a pain in the ass, especially because they do not go down that easily. An interesting enemy. Yeah? But still, not really the thing I think is appropriate for the stage or whatever. Flop that one, but take the white giant as a recommend uh, recompensation. Compensation. That was the word, thanks. So anyway, this fight is pretty damn easy. He's got two attacks. The first one is this here, where he throws the spear and then walks to it slowly like an idiot. And the one where he jumps and shoots out three spears. The middle one is aimed at Mega's position, roughly. So you have to dodge the other twos and his jumping. When he's far away, you can just stay in the corner. When he's near, just slide under him and his spears. Game over. It's really easy, but kind of fun. I like this fight. Also, notice the different background, completely different background for the refight, uh, for the second real fight. That's kind of unique, I think. Maybe. Yeah, anyway, we get the beat E parts, as prophesied. Yamato Spear again, because, well, why not? And uh, I've shown it off already, it's not that great. I mean, it's got one interesting property, but that's going to wait for way later. For now, a quick review. Yes, we did indeed get the two parts. This was Sign with Let's Play Megman 6, and thank you very much for your attention.